Hey there, welcome back. In this special video edition, I'm sharing with you my experience of my retreat with Eckhart Tolle last week on the fabulous island of Maui in Hawaii. So many of you have asked me about that experience that I thought it would be fantastic if I just shared that here in a video so you could experience it with me and vibe into the high vibrational frequency energy that I was dialed into and still am dialed into. So I was committed to a five-day retreat with Eckhart a couple of times now and um, because of the pandemic it got pushed back a couple of times and so I was really excited that this time it was actually able to happen and it was really special to happen this year of all years. It really feels like there's an arc that's closing, just not just for me, but an arc for our country, our civilization, um, as well as a new, a beautiful new arc opening. And this was really a magical place and, and way to close and open a new arc. The hotel, the, the resort where they were hosting it was so incredible. I, I can't tell you, there were so many beautiful, picturesque, like paradise looking places to just be in, seating areas and even at check-in, there were these gorgeous, majestic trees that I'll have to share a picture with you later, but they were growing up and out of the ground and then somehow grew back into themselves. I don't even know how. I need to research and find out how that happens. Or maybe I don't. Maybe it's just magic. They are gorgeous and to just stand near them and be with them and touch them and sit under the trees and and read was just in and of itself felt like a spiritual experience and so being with Eckhart and with Kim was icing on the cake not to mention standing there and asking a question being able to ask a question of Eckhart um, and standing up there for about 15 minutes and and being in his beingness, sharing beingness with him, and what felt to me in retrospect, I suppose, a coaching session. And that's really kind of what I want to share with you because that's the smaller arc of what the bigger arc of the whole experience was. And so much of what I know that you want to create in your life, in being with other human beings on this planet. I know we're all so caught up in the rat race and in the doing and producing and being relevant and being seen and being heard. And that matters. It really does. It really does. Everyone wants to be seen and heard and the world needs to see and hear you. That's the truth. And the way that we do it matters. Who we're being matters. And that landed so clearly for me this year in my experience with Steve Hardison and in all of my journeys here during this year, including Eckhart Tolle and this, this once in a lifetime experience I got to be a part of while asking a question. So if you haven't been to a retreat um, with Eckhart, there are a couple of a couple of talks that he does each day and then Kim, his partner, does a talk in between and then there's sort of like a community lunch. So I'm just kind of presencing you into the retreat in case you haven't had an opportunity to experience it. And then Kim Kim actually does a presence, a movement with presence or presence with movement experience in the morning and typically 
uh, participants get to choose one of those days to do that with Kim, but because we had such a large ballroom, there were actually um, a thousand participants they had such a large ballroom blocked, we were able to go more than one day or choose um, whichever day that we wanted to go, which is really powerful. I highly recommend bringing a presence into your movement practice or vice versa, trying it at home, playing with that. One of the things that Kim does is, and, and I often do, is a lot of like shaking, shaking off energy. And that sounds like exactly what it is. It's just standing up and just shaking off the different body parts and just imagining that you're letting go of any energy from the last conversation or from your last experience or your last interaction. And that can be really powerful in that we can be present while we're in movement. And we can certainly be present while we're doing in the world. And that's what we're really talking about is how do we do, how do we do from being? And so bring that back into this retreat and the movement with presence, because we all do, we know how to do. The question is, is how do we do from being? How does it come from a place deep within us, from a sourced place, from a sacred place? So in my experience and being with Eckhart, as I said, I was able to ask a question of him. I've been, um, following Eckhart as a spiritual teacher, among many teachers that I follow for about 20 years now. And a question finally arose after a couple of decades and I raised my hand and I was chosen to go to the mic and stand very close to Eckhart and have a back and forth. And I just wa really want to invite you to not just listen to the words that I'm speaking, but really feel the vibe that's underneath. Really feel in your body the essence of what I'm saying. Standing at that microphone and looking at a person who is deeply steeped in being, mostly in being, and connecting in the same way that you're connecting to me right now. I'm hearing my words, listening to my voice, and really feeling what's up underneath it. There's almost like there's like a tractor beam of light connecting us. And all I could really see was down into the beingness of this other. And we think that we've got to get it all together and have it all figured out before we talk, before we speak our truth, before we share our gifts. But that couldn't be further from the truth. You're ready now. We're all of us ready now. The words, the perfectness of it, none of that matters. What matters is being with the other, being with the other human being, seeing the light in them, the pure, beautiful, breathtaking, almost emotional light inside the other, but pure emotion. And that sacred circle that connects me to, in that moment, him, Eckhart Tolle, and the light coming back to and through me. The question I asked almost doesn't matter. It happened to be about being present with children and what happens when they grow up. What else is there that happened to be the question? Many people came back up to me afterward and said their question wasn't even about children or teenagers. It was about something completely different about their selves, their own beingness, but their question got answered through that interaction. Because it was so much about the connection it was so much about the presence. It was so much about the being. I could feel those other 999 people in the room and they were a part of it. Very much so. There was no exclusion of those people. 
There was no inclusion. It was just all oneness. And yes, Eckhart did have responses about, you know, nature being the antidote to technology and the sort of like doing, doing, doing energy. At least, at least for my, my situation, the question that I was asking, and there's definitely truth to that. Nature is our inherent essence. She, Mother Nature, is modeling that for us. And yet, and yet, there's something about that for all of us, not just as it relates to technology or social media. There's just something very important about remembering that it's about being, whether it's about being when I'm in my practices, whether that's journaling or meditation or my being when I'm driving my car or I'm you know, with a work colleague or in a struggle situation, in a situation of suffering. It's always, always about the beingness. And I'm just inviting you now to feel into your own beingness you are here with me in my living room, you'd feel, and I want you to feel wherever you're at, as if you are here with me, as if we are together with Eckhart Tolle. And the power behind the connection of us together, of us seeing so deeply into one another that I could be looking at my enemy. You could be looking at your enemy and see light and be love and just dial into that frequency of connection and create from that and know that everything is exactly as it should be. There are no problems in this place. And there is no suffering. There might be pain points, maybe. And when you notice the pain, you label it and then just let go of the label and see what's left. Just feel it without judgment. So I really want to invite you into this high vibrational frequency. I want you to invite it into your day, into your week, into your month, into your year. And just notice what's different. That's really it. I wanted to share with you. I wanted to presence this. I wanted you to feel this and be in this experience with me. This is my gift to you. I'm sending so much love and light from my heart to yours. Take care. Bye.